Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Stable Diffusion tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to transition between any two objects being like a cat uh, going to a dog or an apple going to a lady or you can do that in reverse uh, using a bunch of prompts. So let me show you the trick that we're going to use to do this. So if I was to just type in cat and I'm going to keep the seed constant at one, uh, we can generate a cat. There we go. Um, if I wanted to generate a dog, and I know this is super simple stuff, uh, we can generate a dog. But what if we wanted to do a cat-dog hybrid? Well, what we could do is we could say cat with a weight, so semicolon, a weight of 0.5, and a dog with a weight of 0.5. So cat with a weight of 0.5 and a dog with a weight of 0.5. This should give us a hybrid of the two. And you can see, this gives us a monstrosity. It is half the cat we got originally and half the dog we have originally. And we can do this in any ratio. So if we want this to be 90% dog and 10% cat, we can do that. And it should look like mostly a dog with a hint of cat, as you can see. And the idea is if we go from like 0% a dog and then 1%, 2%, 3% all the way to 100 and we do this balance switching using a bunch of prompts, we can do a smooth transition. So for example, uh, the first prompt would be, for example, cat one dog zero. The next one would be cat 0.99, so 99%, dog 0.01, and then you continue this over and over and over again. The question is, how do you do these prompts without typing them in every single time? And I should mention, by the way, the seed has to be constant uh, if you want to have a smooth, smooth transition. Uh, how do we do these prompts over and over and over again? Well, the first uh, key insight is if you go to script and you go to prompt matrix, um, we can actually add in a, um, no, prompts from file or text box. There we go. Uh, we can actually type in a bunch of prompts. So we could say something like cat one and dog uh, zero, and then we can go enter another prompt, another prompt, and this will generate them down the list. So that's the first insight that we can do a bunch of prompts. The second insight is that we can do uh, we can generate this list using chat GPT because uh, it's going to take a long time to type out. So I would say something like continue the following sequence. And I'm going to say it's going to start with cat with a value of one, dog with a value of zero, cat with a value of 0.99, and dog with a value of 0.01. Let's just give it one more so I can definitely recognize the pattern. 0.98 and dog 0.02. And I'm going to say continue the following sequence for 100 iterations. And let's see if it could pick it up. And there you can see it's actually continuing this uh, using the same logic. Each time it's decreasing a percent with the cat and increasing a percent with the dog. So I can take these uh, first three and paste them in here and then take everything that it's spitting out uh, furthermore and uh, copy it. Now, I'm not going to do all this for this uh, tutorial, uh, but I can do some of it. So let's say we go up to 42%. You put that in here. Oh, it didn't actually copy that. Stop generating. Let's take what it's generated so far. And of course, you want to keep going until it gets to cat zero and dog one paste that in, and now we have a bunch of prompts that uh, follow this uh, sequence. Uh, use same random seed for all lines, absolutely. Um, and I think that should be good. So we can actually get rid of this, and you can click generate, and what it's going to do is it's now going to use the script. So you can see first we have the cat we had initially, then we're gonna get a bit of a morph. It's gonna be a bit more dog and a bit more dog and a bit more dog. And you can see this transformation if we look at the file output. Uh, and we wanna get rid of these original generations we had. So you can see now, if I open this, this cat is very, very slowly transitioning into a dog. It's not really letting me go image by image, but you can see if I make these previews a bit bigger, each one is kind of morphing more and more and more. And what I can do is I can do this uh, entire generation um, off camera and show you what that looks like. But 
Uh, the key insight here again is we use a not a prompt matrix but a list of prompt inputs and uh, you just do this uh, sequence where it keeps uh, decreasing the first value and increasing the second value. So hopefully you learned something in this tutorial about morphing objects. I know this was a bit convoluted. Hopefully I explained it well enough. And uh, thank you for watching. And I just want to mention uh, there is a link in the description for Patreon. And I appreciate every single patron that has been following me uh, up until this point. It is a place where you can get access to files, whether it be stable diffusion files or blender files. I do tutorials on both. Or you can get access to tutorials early. Or in general, if you want to support what I do, it is the best way to do that. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And I will see you on the next one.